Previously on Inside Pure Cycle, we walked you through the prep, purification, and our born digital concept. Today, our CEO, Dustin Olson, will explain how the color and contaminants that are filtered out of your plastic products still have value at the end of the Pure Cycle process. Whenever people ask me about Pure Cycle, the first thing I want to talk about is our primary product, the Ultra Pure Polypropylene Resin. Okay, that's a great product because it can really go into any application in the market. But the next question they ask is, well, where does the uh, contaminants go? Like all of the odor and the color and the talc and the, the sand and the different things that are used to create a really cool polypropylene product for the consumer, you're taking that out, where does it go? Well, right behind me is, is part of that, okay? This is our co-product area. So in that structure behind me, this is where we're making one of our co-products. It's called a polyethylene product. And this is pretty similar to like a mechanical recycled polyethylene. And then in the building behind the vessels, that's our co-product receiving area. And that's where we'll take the waxy products off of the primary purification plant and we'll drum it and move it out of that facility. What's unique about our two co-products is that they're really separated into two different types of functions. You have the first co-product, which is like the polyethylene, mechanical recycled polyethylene equivalent. You know, that comes out of the, the bottom of our process and it's largely polyethylene and talc. And then the other piece of it is like an organic product and that's called Scheibel column overhead. And that's more like a pyrolysis oil or a refined feedstock, or it could be used in asphalt or it could be used in roofing. You have to remember that a lot of the Almost all suppliers to consumers in the market, they are looking for a sustainability story. They want to do something good for the, the market, but they gotta find the right products to do that. And so while these are not our primary products, these co-products are gonna add values in very unique portions of the market that you wouldn't first think about. What makes me really proud though, from, a, from an environmental perspective is that while, while we're taking contaminants out of polypropylene and making it an ultra pure polypropylene resin, we're actually going to be able to take the co-products that have lower value and find an environmentally sustainable place for them to land as well. The feedstock that comes into our facility, we're able to sell it as a product that can be used by consumers. And so that really completes the circle for circularity. Stay tuned for our next episode. Pure Cycle. One goal, a pure planet.